Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. I'm showing you my Winterstrom spinner that I'm gonna be using today. You can get that on winterstromart.com if you would like to, it's amazing. This is the first time actually I'm using this. You can see this 18 by 24 canvas fits on here so easily. Um, this is a great spinner for larger um, canvases. Uh, I just saw her, Jessica um, from Winterstrom Art, I just saw her do a three foot by four foot on this spinner. So um, yeah, it's amazing for using um, larger canvases. So I just wanted to share that with you because I know I will get a million questions about it. So on this video, I am going to show you how I failed and what I did to fix it and what I'm gonna do different next time. So on this one, uh, my colors that I put down uh, on my pillow, my pillow was just, I had way too much paint and you guys are gonna see that when I start tilting this. Um, I love these blowouts. The blowouts uh, actually on this one were so pretty and I was so, so disappointed, you guys. I can't even tell you how disappointed I was when this did not work out. Um, but I, I wanted to leave this part in here because I, I wanted to show you, first of all, how I like to blow. I use the diverter, some people do not. Um, I like to use it because I feel like I have more control uh, over my blowouts as well as, I feel like my cell development uh, with the diverter is better. I know that's not the case for other people, um, but that is just what I prefer to do. And I have my heat on low, um, low cool. Uh, when I when I do blow these out so and you can see like this is real time it's very slow so you have to be patient and uh, my friend Garrick calls it riding the wave so you just have to stay down on the cell activator there keep your keep your uh, nozzle of your hair dryer down close and very slowly ride that wave all the way out um, as far as you want to go with it but I find that the farther out I go the better um, I am able to keep design so here I am I decided to start stretching I think in hindsight maybe I would have tried just spinning to start with but um, I literally had not painted in over four weeks. Uh, I was getting ready for the fluid art experience, and then I had the fluid art experience, and then I had COVID. And so I had not been in my studio for um, four weeks painting. And so I was like, you know, when you wait that long, your juices really stop flowing for creativity, at least in my case. I was just had no, um, I just, I didn't have any motivation really, and I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I didn't feel creative. So um, <clears throat> here you see, I had so much paint on there that I totally lost all design. So I decided to start over. Um, I just put what was left of my paint on the canvas into the center and then added just a little bit more. Uh, on this one, way I did way better uh, in my amount of paint. Now you see here, this blowout, when it gets to the edge of the paint there, I should have taken my paint and spread it to the edge of my canvas because what happened um, on that very first blowout is it started rolling over itself and it got caught up on that dryer canvas. So like right after that first petal was blown out, I went ahead around and used a just a popsicle stick to spread the paint. And now you see 
like the rest of this blowout is going much better because in the in the petals are flowing much farther because I made sure to put the paint to the edge. Now, just try to not think about the background colors there um, from where I folded the paint into itself. You're not gonna see that when I blow it out or when I tilt it out, uh, but I know it's, it's really distracting for me. <laughs> just try to focus on these blowouts, I guess. Um, but yeah, it this one I struggled with because I hadn't painted in so long and I actually had never used my winter strum spinner because I had never used a canvas this big to do a bloom. So I didn't know how much paint I should put on there. I mean, I learned pretty quick when I put way too much on there, but um yeah, I I just, I was so out of practice. So what was really good about this is, you know, I really didn't have a lot of expectations. I just thought, okay, just do something. Get something on canvas and hopefully maybe you'll learn some things and or maybe it'll spark some more creativity in you or some more ideas because I just was not. Now, one thing that you'll notice that I did on this one different than my first one is that I put my blooms closer together. So when, and then I overlapped them as well. So um, the reason why I did that is because they were too spread out before when I started tilting, I lost like all of the pretty cells and lacing that you get with the blooms. Um, so I made sure that I, I made them a little closer together this time. Um, and then I just started stretching out. Now I'm using, um, the Shelly, um, art bloom technique and recipes. Uh, if you guys are out there watching and you want to take the course, I do have a 15% off, um, coupon in my, description box below. Now, the, the course is good for showing technique. Um, I know now Shelly has kind of updated uh, products from around the world that work with different areas. Um, and really, to me, the most valuable part of the Shelly Art Bloom course at this point, because um, I know she's revamping it, it is the Facebook group that you get to be a part of um, because you've bought into the class. Um, it's super helpful. There's all sorts of videos on there with paints and products and techniques. I mean, Shelly does like an entire two hour video just on consistency, which helped me a ton when I first started. Uh, I only had like the few minutes that it shows in the course on consistency and I really didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what consistency was supposed to look like. And now after watching that like two hour video, like I went in and I tried again and it was like a hundred times better. Um, it, it just was so valuable to me. So um, yeah, if you wanna go ahead and try that course out, it is in the description box, um, the, the coupon code. Um, now, I'm just continuing to stretch this. Now, I'm going to be honest, I was not super fond of this one when I finished. It was, eh, it was meh to me. I just did not, I didn't like it, which usually happens to me. But when I got down close, you can see these wet results are really, really pretty. Like there's that really pretty watercolor effect there. Um, the cells turned out really pretty. I mean, there's some parts of it that I still... I'm not super fond of, but all these cells and lacing that happened um, are really, I just, I, after a couple of days, um, I really started to appreciate them. And then when I saw the dry results, you guys, the dry results of this one in person are stunning. Like really, really pretty how it dried. It dried perfectly, um, no issues at all. 
there is it just there's so many different cool things to look at at this one and like the you can't really tell here in this video but the the shimmer and the the shine from the iridescence and from those um, this little piggy pigments are really really pretty so I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to hang this one but I think that um, this is my favorite orientation so you guys let me know what you guys think of this one um, good or bad I always want to know all right guys thank you for being here appreciate it and I will see you on the next one bye y'all